County tonight, all eyes on the flooded creeks there. A viewer tweeted us this video. The Corte Madera Creek looks more like a river running through Kentfield. Water levels rose nearly a foot in just 10 minutes. The San Anselmo Creek also flooding tonight. KPI X5's Kristen Ayers is in downtown San Anselmo, which had to be evacuated a little bit earlier. Kristen? It was evacuated, and tonight those evacuation orders have been lifted. I'll show you why it happened in the first place. You can see the San Anselmo Creek here. It has receded a bit, but if you look off to the side here, you can see where those rocks are exposed. The water was all the way up to the walkway there earlier this evening. It was 13 and a half feet, and that is when the flooding started. Benjamin Busina sent us this video of San Anselmo Boulevard downtown earlier this evening. Water was bubbling up from storm drains and sewer manholes along the road. As drains became overwhelmed. Around 6 45, the flood sirens started going off and evacuation orders went into effect. We spoke to Natasha Feldman. She was prepared. She says she sandbagged her home and her father did the same to his art gallery, which is right alongside the creek. But she says she was still concerned about flooding. We were kind of worried. When we, when we heard the siren, we were like, okay, should we leave our house? But then it seems like it's calmed down now, so we should be okay. And again, you can see the receding waters of the creek here tonight. As we said, it was much higher earlier this evening. Luckily, it looks like we'll only see uh, some, some intermittent showers tonight. We had one just roll through a short time ago. But other than that, uh, we'll continue to see much calmer weather than we saw earlier. There were cleanup crews out here earlier. So far, they have not reported any significant damage. Reporting live in San Anselmo, Kristen Ayers, KPIX 5. And the rain is not.